Welcome back, my fellow duplicants, to Oxygen Not Included. Today, we've got some more things going on here. We've got a little bit of food that we might be taking care of. We can see that we have little Sweetles down here, and they are tending to the Bristle Blossoms. This is kind of a mixed bag, though. A lot of weird stuff going on down there, but still technically working. So, got to expand that out. Got to get some more food, bring in some more duplicants. Make things real nice. We did get uh, the power system down here up and running. Sorry, well, that's both power system and hydrogen system. Technically, we're rolling coal and moving oxygen, whatever. <laughs> but based on your comments here, we're, we're not being mean enough to lure to. So, you know, just having a, a basic cot next to a pooper and a bunch of puffs, that's not brutal enough. So we got to work on this a little bit. That, and we gotta get the whole oxygen mask thing figured out here. These dupes keep running around and waiting for their masks, which is not good. We don't want that. So I think what I can do here is I can solve that quickly, possibly, if I had a way to store up the oxygen masks. The only thing is that might get rid of my barracks, or my ability to make that into a bedroom. Oh no, never mind. I can do it. Everybody destroy your bed. And the flower pot, we're moving all of it. Wait, I could press enter on crown molding to disable it? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Hold up. That's a thing? We will learn. Go ahead and disable the flower pot. Okay. Can you disable the crown molding? What? <laughs> Does that actually work? We have 61 decor. If I enable the crown molding. No, that actually doesn't change anything. All right, so what I should be able to do inside of here is just put a storage bin right there. And that should allow me to load it up with masks. This also gives me enough room to put a sweeper arm up here or, or and anything like that. If I wanted to automatically deliver extra things to the masks uh, dock. The other thing that you guys were talking about, which might actually be a better option. Let me go ahead and just try it over here. Is if I just had two ox oxygen mask systems. So we'll try that. Storage bin versus extra dock. All right, so now for Lurda's new home here. We don't want to have anything with decor, so you're gonna get igneous rock. It's gonna be terrible, cold, nasty. You're not gonna like it. We'll put you right up here. Unfortunately, we don't have enough disgusting igneous rock. You might actually end up with something tolerable. That's not good. Well, that's okay. We'll find something else to do. All right, so here's what we'll do. We'll actually just take a pneumatic door Right, we're gonna put one right up here, just like so. And then, on top of that, well, we'll just put an automatic dispenser. We're just gonna throw some junk in there. <laughs> so, your decor will be absolutely horrible. Yes, this is a good plan. Oh, and as mentioned before, it is a good idea to actually move this door up just a little bit like that. That way, if we have a, a liquid accident inside of here, hmm, it stays in the same spot. Speaking of potential liquid accidents... <laughs> yeah, bottle emptier, we'll put that right there. Now my personal favorite though is the one that you guys were talking about, and that is actually putting a light bulb inside here. So let's go ahead and take the motion sensor, and we'll put that right up there like so. And then, for some furniture, we'll go ahead and slap a light down. We want to be efficient about our torture, so... Alright, just reworking everything. Taking a little bit of time. I think the dual oxygen mask system is going to be the, the way to go. But we will see if this works. I was reading through the comments and I, I thought it was pretty funny how people were like, Oh yeah, that makes sense. Of course you need to have a mask. <laughs> no, no we don't. It, it's just become so commonplace anymore. Uh, are we going to get slime lunged? No, no, it doesn't look like it. We yeah. are. Okay. Not a lot of oxygen in the air, though. <laughs> Look at that, we're down to 200 some grams. Okay, one of the things I was looking to do here is, uh, I want the extra oxygen here. I want it to go to the masks first, but if it can't go to the mask, then I want it to go to a vent, so. Because I don't have the pliers mod, because it, uh, uh, it isn't compatible here. This will jump over the bridge first, go to the masks, and then if we have a backup in this pipe, it'll just go into the base. So that's how we're gonna take care of that one. There we go. So now I have oxygen flowing into the base. All right, so here we can see Lulu in the morning. Getting up doing the morning routine. <laughs> take a shower, clean the outhouse, wash your hands. You know, the normal stuff. 
And then we have two masks here. So that seems to be working out pretty good there. Lilu, you came, you flipping somebody else's poop. And when we compare that to what Josh was doing here, he just came back to recharge his little mask. So that is now filling with oxygen. So he's a little bit less efficient. The one bonus though, that we get at least with the storage bin is that you can have multiple inside of there. Although, if we do do the uh, shipping rail thing, you can actually kind of get away with the exact same thing. So I don't think this is the right way to do it. I think having two of them is the right way to go. If I'm actually going to even try to make, uh, to make this work. <laughs> Poor dupes keep getting stuck in these rooms. Come on now. Hmm, Bert here seems like an excellent dupe. Construction, creativity, grease monkey right there. So that is nice for the tune-up duration so I, I can get a little bit more out of power system. Derpy Doop, welcome to the base. Thank you so much for being a Patreon supporter. All right, so one of the other things I'm working on here is a little bit more oxygen down here. I know I have these two gas pumps, but I, kinda, I do need a little bit more. But for right now, I think I'm just going to go ahead and re-enable the electrolyzer just to kind of get me over the hump. The other thing I'm working on here is just kind of digging up to get to a little bit of that gold amalgam. Hmm, starting to run into a problem here. Don't have enough oxygen for these. I guess now that I'm looking at this, I should have taken the oxygen and gone to this one and then over to that one. So, oh well. If I don't have enough oxygen, my dupes will get stuck inside of their little apartments here. Hmm, something to keep in mind. All right, things are coming together nicely now. I've put a little crafting station right here and that's for the copper masks. I can go ahead and build about 10 of those real quick. Also want to make sure that the worn out, eh, maybe seven on that one. I want to make sure that the worn out masks are constantly being recycled. And then in this storage bin, that's where I'm going to bring in uh, the actual worn out masks. And as it turns out, I think I put that weight plate in the wrong spot. I want that to be a nice little light bulb. There we go. Let's deconstruct that real quick. So inside of here, I'm gonna go to clothing, say wore out, worn out mask, and we'll put that to a nice, fairly nice high priority. That way the dupes, when they wear out the masks, they will actually deliver them over here. But every once in a while, I do get one dupe that just refuses to deliver a mask to their own dock. So, <clears throat> priority level please, Wibbledorn. Mm-hmm, let's go grab one of those, slap it on in there, thank you. Make sure that is enabled, so Ibuku can go ahead and do that. I might not have enough oxygen flowing through everything here to get to all of these different masks now. So the next thing I need to do is to really just build up the oxygen system a little bit more, which I'm actually already doing down here. So that's gonna be two more gas pumps, another electrolyzer, and then I'll break down that little tile right there. So then the hydrogen just flows to the same spot. And if I have enough refined metals, I will actually just go ahead and upgrade this wire. Look, these dupes don't even care about all this polluted oxygen. <laughs> I, I care, but they don't care. We'll put a deodorizer down here. All right, let's see if I have enough refined metal to do that. Yeah, looking pretty good. Ah, you know what I can do? This will be easy. If I wanted to activate this generator down here as well, uh, we could just take this. So that way, that battery is low, then we run it. Or if this is full, then we run it as well. Ha! That's Super easy automation, actually. So we'll go ahead and just take care of that. That way I might have to run over here and burn a little bit less coal, which would be more efficient for my base because then I have to run the carbon skimmer less. Easy peasy. Let's take a look at my skills. You're about the only one that likes decorating. There you go, derpy doop. Ibuku, you like farming and ranching, perfect. We've yet to actually tap into the whole ranching thing yet. Lilu, go ahead and do some super hard digging. That'll be great. Lurda. Atomic research. All right, so I need to build over here just a little bit to fill out Derpy Dupe's apartment. So that one is kind of a weird build, but I think what I can do here to avoid the polluted water from that getting out, so what I can do is actually start to build this tile and then build through the corner and build that tile and then build through the corner and build that tile and that tile all the way down. Thus kind of avoiding the, the need to actually move the water. One thing I am going to run into here, though, is slime lung. We might end up touching that a bit. Let's just go ahead and try to take care of the germs a little bit ahead of time here. Uh-oh. Starting to run out of oxygen here. Ibuku, again, is the one who, who runs out of oxygen. Do you just breathe more than everybody else or what? What's your deal? 
quick dupes, let's get this done. Uh, I need to vent out this oxygen, by the way. This is gonna be polluted oxygen, don't want that there, so. I'll just put in a little gas bridge just to kind of clear that stuff out. Ah, Lilu! Yep, you got stuck. You're all good. There we go. Allow access inside of here. And we might get a little bit of carbon dioxide in there. So let's go ahead and enable that gas vent. Yep, there we go. That's working. And we'll enable this gas vent down here. I like the fact that we could just kind of turn these on and off now. That's a really easy way to kind of just control where the gas is going inside the pipes. That was a nice little quality of life thing they added. All right, I'm also sweeping this stuff up here. <laughs> I've actually put a, uh, a little automatic dispenser right here so that we just sweep everything into <laughs> Lerda's room down there. Poor Lerda. Okay, I guess we don't really need everything inside of there, but um, look at that horrible decor, minus 76. We'll probably stop it at like minus 100 or something. All right, come on dupes, sweep this up. <laughs> You're so inefficient. Come on, dupes. They're all very confused by these doors. Hmm. <coughs> dupes. Still sweeping. Still. <laughs> oh, man. These manual airlocks are an absolute killer. They're just so slow. I really should just leave it open. But now we're almost done. Oh, darn it. You dropped it on the ground, dupes. There we go. This side's now clean. I can go ahead and flip that to below. Actually, I don't want to do that just yet. <laughs> we actually got to go in here and just deconstruct that. That way the hydrogen can flow over. All right, so there we go. Actually, let's just do this number. Lock it, lock it. Now, let me go ahead and clear this out. If I go to below real quick, we'll pull in all of that carbon dioxide. There we go. There we go, above. Nothing but oxygen over here. And then nothing but oxygen over there. Deconstruct that, turn that valve uh, vent off, turn that vent off, and I think we're good to go. Ha ha! Oxygen. Oop, make sure we're not dumping a bunch of hydrogen into my base. Flip that one off. So now I should be able to go back here and re-enable all of the oxygen masks, which I had to disable, deliver whatever's not there. And I think I should have a working system. Yeah, there goes all that oxygen. Looking good. All right, so the next thing I need to worry about here is Stress. Lerda? <laughs> Lerda's not getting a good night's sleep, ever. Your stress is finally going up. Mmm, change per cycle, 13%. Unrested, too bright. <laughs> okay. Well, I've got something a little extra for you, Lerda. Let's go ahead and find where, where's those bottles of pee? Oh, yes. This was Joshua's pee right here. I'm gonna sweep that up and empty it right into Lerda's room. Oh, here comes Joshua with a little present for you. <laughs> nice. I guess that's all we need. We don't need to go crazy on that one. <laughs> How you doing now, Lerda? Stress 23% per cycle. <laughs> You're well on your way to being efficient. All right, so just a little bit more work over here. I'm just putting in some storage bins. Essentially, this can be just sweep everything except for I'm choosing what goes in it, so it's sweep only. So it's not like my dupes are constantly trying to put stuff in here. Uh, plus, I don't want to put things in here that are going to, like, off-gas and whatnot, so... Just keeping an eye on that. It's just a spot to store stuff for now. But, let's go ahead and dig into this area right here, so that I can build up the rest of this apartment. Get that done for my neck, for my dupe. Let's go ahead and do this number real quick. That way we're filtering the air that comes out of here, so we don't end up with slime lung floating around. There we go, start to dig at an angle so we can go down here, just keep building out the wall. <laughs> okay, the, so the oxygen mask thing is working for, well, it's working for most dupes. You can see like one moment it was completely working as expected, the next it isn't. Strange. All right, Lerda is about to finally tick on over to 60% stress. There we go, max stress all of a sudden. She should be much more efficient. Well, uh, are you? There it is, plus seven to everything. <laughs> Look at Lerda go! Lerda's flying! Little pissed, but super efficient. <laughs> All right, Lerda. Okay, we need, we need you t 
now... Oh, crap, now I don't have any water around. Well, here's what I'll do. We'll just build a ladder right on over here and kind of dig that out. There we go. Now we have lots of water. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of this research. Let's take a look at your skills, Lerda. Your science is currently 27. That's plus 1,080% researching speed. Pissed. <laughs> All right, let's see how fast this is and kind of like normal fast speed right here. Oh my gosh. It's about one science per second. There you go, Lerda. You got it figured out. You know how to swap masks. I get, every now and then it works, but sometimes it doesn't work, so... <laughs> See? Like Joshua here. Very confused. Fully filled, fully filled, fully filled. Ah. Now Joshua doesn't even know what to do. He's just standing there. Well, maybe they were idle. Maybe that's what's up. Could it possibly be that they don't have enough stuff to do? Well, in that case, start sweeping everything. I got enough junk laying around. Hey, research complete. Now, and just in case you're wondering, I already have Lurda set up on the massage table here. If she goes above, 96%. Let's just take a look at your stress level right now. Your stress change per cycle is 28%. Might be a little bit too much. Sopping wet might be one step too far, because <laughs> it's actually plus 33% per cycle. So it seems like the night light is a, is a good way to go, but... Splashing around in polluted water is maybe not the best idea. Although, she's really cranking through all the research here, so that's good. Ah, but see, we don't want her to spend too much time over here. It's just not going to be very efficient. All right, the other thing I'm working on over here is just kind of a great hall. That way we can come on over there and eat. We could probably do some cooking nearby. Although I'm doing cooking over here. I don't really want them to run back and forth if, if, if it was possible to not, to not do that. But, you know, maybe I can eat up here, or cook down here, or something like that. Just kind of building up a little room. There we go, just deconstructing all of this, moving the supercomputer and whatnot. Over here for the little extra research station. Nice. Very nice. A couple of ladders, just to dig that out. I'm probably going to move this battery somewhere else. How about down there? Seems like a good spot for it. And there we go. I now should have a great hole. Nice, very nice. Now, just for a lot of sweeping here to make everything real nice. All right, just a little something I'm doing here. Got Ibuku down here doing the farming. Put in a little farming station here just to kind of speed up the bristle blossoms and whatnot. Just to make that go a little bit faster. Um, sweeping like crazy. Just spending a lot of time just cleaning everything up. A little bit of debris here, there, and everywhere. Loading it up. Yeah, that always takes a long time for this stuff to go and you know, for people, for the dupes to work through all of this. I'm just using the super speed to get through it a little bit faster this time. All right, well, I completed a lot of sweeping here. Things should be doing quite a bit better, at least when it comes to the core overlay. <laughs> and by that, it, you know, it's got its, it's got its moments where it's a little bit better. Maybe not the most decorative base yet. As far as lured up here, well, I gotta go ahead and put the water back because she just wasn't stressed out enough. She was starting to have a good time again. But, there we go. That should fix things up. Horrible. And we got the max oxygen mask thing running. Uh, the thing is, the dupes don't really like to deliver them, even though I do have them set to be, like, really high priority and stuff. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's gonna work out quite as well as I'd hoped. But, do have more oxygen, so that's doing good. We have a little bit more research rolling. And we do have a nice little great hall now. And the one thing I didn't really get to, though, is food. So I'm going to have to scale that up next time. I thought I was going to get to it this time, but just didn't work out. At any rate, that's all i got time for today. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this little episode here of Oxygen Not Included. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day. Stay awesome. Peace. Brothgar out.